Thank you for hanging out with me today. This is Cage848, and uh, welcome back to Eden Crafters. Well, last episode, when that giant wave came in, I did lose my wind turbines. Now, some people in the comment section were giving me a really obvious solution. That is a really good idea, and I'm going to use it, assuming I remember. And that solution is just pick up the wind turbine. Just take it down before the wave gets here. All right, fair enough. I will do that. Also, I will probably take down the analysis radar. I think people told me that the wave will also take this out. And this thing's a lot more expensive than the wind turbine. So definitely want to take that down as well. All right. And last episode, I did set up some automation here. I've got a set of iron coming into a forge, spitting out iron into a storage chest, which is in turn making um, iron plates and iron rods. So that's really cool. Now I had copper coming in, and I actually took down that forge um, for the copper because I'm gonna I'm gonna move it over a little bit more. You can't really mix, you know, things in this game. Uh, I tried having copper and iron ingot go into the same container, and it spits it out no matter what. I was hoping that it would spit it out only to things that need it. Um, this thing only needs iron ingots, but it was spitting out copper as well, so that was a bit of a problem. So we got to keep things separated um, until we get some kind of sorter. Um, do I have a sorter yet? I don't think so. Uh, but then again, last episode, I didn't know I had a splitter, and I did <laughs> end a merger. So uh, yeah, I'm getting stuff. I'm getting stuff unlocked as I play. So I got to try and you know keep an eye on that. It's a pretty exciting game. It's a pretty exciting game. Very new to me. So I think the next thing I would like to do is get some quartz going. So we are going to come over here, and I'm worried about that wave, but it should be okay. And let's see, what we need for some quartz. Um, well, I'm definitely going to need another forge, but let's, um, let's actually get up the miner first. So we're going to need iron plate. Can I pin this? Yes. Cool. So we need six iron plates. That's outside. Iron rods are outside. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get some cement. I did make a storage chest in here. I don't know if I like showed that off last episode, but there's a storage chest. I'm going to take that and that and that, and that's looking pretty good. Now we need some gears. I think gears are made with iron rods. If I remember correctly. Oh, that is that is correct. Two, three, four. Now, should I go out there now or should I wait? You know what? I'm going to go out there now, but I am going to bring what I need for a um, a, a base, com base compartment. So I should have... Yeah, I should have enough. Shouldn't be a problem. Oh, you know what? I'm going to need more plates because I'm going to want to bring stuff back with conveyor belts. So let me go ahead and just take all of these. That should be enough. The quartz is actually isn't that far away. I can see it from here. So I'm going to line that up. I'll have it come down the same area as the copper. I don't know how close I can make conveyor belts. I'd like to make them right next to each other. That'd be pretty cool, but we'll have to see about that. And uh, yeah, we're going to continue going. Apparently, there's a lot more to this game than I knew. So um, yeah, man, we're going to keep banging out videos. I really like this game a lot, a lot. I don't know if anyone knows when it's actually going to come out, though. Like, I'd really like it to come out sooner rather than later. Uh, where we go? So there we go. And... Yeah, we'll just have it face that way. It should be fine. Another problem I'm having is power. And this thing says um, 30%. I'm guessing it's running at 30% power. I think that's what that means. Although I don't really know for sure. Okay, so... Conveyor belts? Right there. And we'll have this come right over. Line this up. Oh, no, I don't want it in the ground. Okay, no, that's good. It's good. And then I want this lined up with this. Yes. yes, very nice. I like to have the conveyor belts lined up as much as possible. Uh, is this going to work? Um, hold on. Now, see, it's not really going with it. Hmm. All right, hold on a sec. Let me see if I can get this right. I don't really need to be right next to it, but I, I kind of want it to be. Yeah. How close is that wave? I'd like a countdown timer for the wave. Yeah, beautiful. And then, and now I gotta get this thing... Well, actually, now nah, I can just leave where it is for now. I'm not sure if you can put, like, these conveyor belts over top of each other or underneath or anything like that. Oh, come on, go up. Whoa, what was that? Look at that! Okay. Um, see, that's not really lining up properly, but I guess it's the best I can do. There we go... Come on. All right. Nice. No, I don't want you going into the ground. It's kind of weird. Um, I guess that's fine. It's not perfect, but, you know. 
What am I? What am I gonna do? All right, that's good enough. We'll leave that right there. All right. Oh, by the way, there's a drone in the game. If you press V, uh, spacebar. I thought spacebar makes it go up, but it's, uh, there we go. Sometimes spacebar makes it go up. Sometimes not so much. So there you go. That's pretty cool. I like that. I like it a lot. All right. So we're going to need. We're gonna need a splitter here because I need iron for other things. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take this out and this and this. Oops. I just destroyed everything inside of it. All right. Well, it is what it is. I'm not gonna worry about destroying the rest of that though. It's fine. All right, so now we're going to put a splitter behind here because I need three things for iron that I'm aware of. Let's go take a look at what we need for iron. We need three of those crafting things. So, iron, iron, iron. That's it. Three as far as I can tell. <laughs> that might change later as we get farther in the game, but for right now it's three. All right, I'm looking to put down a splitter now, but I'm kind of thinking I want to start building on platforms. All right, I'm getting tired of with the dirt. It's kind of annoying to like mine the dirt. Um, so I'm going to be building on platforms. So in order to make platforms, we need cement or, you know, concrete. Is it called concrete? What is it called? Yeah, we're going to need cement in order to get cement. We're going to need dirt. So let me go ahead and put a auto miner here. Um, apparently if you put an auto miner just on the dirt, it'll get you what you need. All right. So I guess, um, let's turn this around. How do we rotate again? Um, R. All right. And we'll just put that right there. That's what people are telling me. You just put it right, right there. And now you should be good to go. All right, cool. So I will just let that... You know what? Let's put down a, um, a storage container, too, to really start building up a good amount. Uh, do I want one that, with outputs? You know what? I don't really think I do. Not right now. Maybe... Uh, well, actually, they both output, I guess. But I don't really care about the output. Um, this is going to be a pain in the butt no matter what I do. All right, let's go ahead and move this like this. I just don't want it in my way as I'm walking around. That should be pretty good. And then we will grab some conveyors. That's it. All right, beautiful. So now that'll give me a bunch of cement and then I can start making foundations. There's all kinds of foundations you can make. I don't know why I came into here. Um, foundations are right here. So you can make um, ground, asphalt, bricks, corrugated plates. Corrugated plates sounds pretty cool. Oh, that's made by iron plates. Crap, I didn't even notice that. All right. Well, that's okay. We're going to need the cement anyway. Um, Yeah, I was looking at bare concrete or maybe bunker concrete. That looks pretty cool. Floor panels. Concrete pavement. Yeah, you know what? I think I'm going to probably go with bunker concrete. Let's. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. What was that? Um, Hold on. Wait, uh, do I have to hold down the button? Yeah. Oh, wow. Dude, I didn't have this kind of building. All right, fair enough. So let's come over here. We'll start building over here. and We'll just take it from there. Is that supposed to be a black hole? Kind of looks like a black hole to me. All right, so we're going to start right here. Now, can this be built? Yes. All right, that's all I have, right? That's all I can make. Is that, why that, is that why that stopped? No, I don't know why that stopped there. Anyway, you can hold down the button. Now, I can't go this way with it, but... It won't let me come this way. Maybe there's a way to do it, and I just don't know. For now, it's only letting me do one line. Okay. Um, I don't know if I mentioned this, but we have some... I did, actually. We have some serious power issues. Okay, everything's running really slowly. Uh, providing 46% of the 15 MW demand. Okay, fair enough. So, yeah, we got to work on some more, uh, some more power supply things, which is fine. We're going to get there. Uh, what do I want to do next? I'm kind of worried about the wave, but... I don't know, whatever. You know what? If I don't get the wind turbine tor torn down in time, it's fine. It's not that big of a deal. It really isn't. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here. And should we just have this stuff made into concrete automatically? I mean, is there anything else I'm going to be using rock for that's not concrete? Maybe. But I do need a lot of concrete. The wave just came and went. And I actually remembered to take down my wind turbine. Is it called the wind turbine? Wind... Turbine. Look at me getting the names right. Uh, and that is awesome. I think what I'm going to do now is I'm going to make a solar panel. Uh, the solar panel is only good during the day, uh, which is kind of sucky. But at the same time, I think it opens up a battery thing, someone was saying. So let's go ahead and make the wind turbine. 
All right, there you go. Battery. And let's see... Uh, 10 battery cells. Okay. What do I need for that? Battery cells. Ugh, sulfur? Uh, is that... I don't know if that's worth the sulfur. I think you're better off just putting up wind turbines, to be perfectly honest. Um... Yeah, you know what? I'm going to just, with sulfur being finite, uh, I'm going to wait and see what else I need sulfur for. If I don't need sulfur for anything else, yeah, I'll go to make a battery. But for now, uh, unless the battery opens up something else, mm, I'm not sure. Maybe I'll mess around with it later. Let's just put down some, uh, some of these. Will three be enough? Three is enough, 100%. Yeah, things work a lot faster. All right, cool. That's beautiful. So I was thinking about setting up one of these to make me um, cement. I kept calling it concrete. It's really cement, but it's not an option. Okay. So I think that's, uh, well, it's just, it's simply not an option. So let's continue working. And I, there's another thing that might make cement, maybe this thing, but I'm going to go ahead and, and continue doing automation of lesser items so I can get more items, you know, banging out. And then maybe we, we could do cement with that later. All right. So let's go ahead and bring this in here. And let's just, let's just take care of some cement here. Look at this, shift. Yeah, shit, you can only do 30 at a time, by the way. So this would be a nice little setup I got here. Um, I don't really need the two inputs or outputs, but I don't know, whatever. Maybe if I want to get more iron in there quicker, I can, I don't know, somehow bring in more ore later or something. It leaves me open to more possibilities. But I do have the splitter here and the conveyor splitter. Look at that. Conveyor exit, 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 and... Entry. Okay, so now what I need is these. Okay, I need some more of this, but that's all right. Should be okay for now. I'm um, kind of line that up. Yep, that's lined up. That's pretty good. Maybe a little bit farther. Hold on. Yeah, that looks good. Okay. Ugh, that's not a lot of room. I don't like that much room. <laughs> all right, that's fine. Uh, let's try again. Let's see output. Um, you know what? I could just put it over here for now. I like a decent amount of room. Although I guess more room is more like space for things to get in the way. You know what? I'm gonna try one more time to put it really close. Let's see if we can put it really close. I mean, less less space is definitely good. So let's. That should work. That should work, right? Well, only one way to find out. Yep. Beautiful. And it's actually lined up really nicely, too. All right, cool. Now let's try and do the same thing on the other side. Oh, we need more gears. So I've been trying to automate cement this whole episode, and I totally missed the boat. Originally, I thought this would make cement. Then I thought this would make cement. Neither of them makes cement. It's very simple. The freaking forge makes cement. It tells you right there. Rocks into cement or quartz into silica. So that is awesome. I went ahead and put one right here, and we now have cement coming in automatically, which is really, really needed. That is awesome. Um, also, I set up the the quartz thingy. I don't know how much of this I showed you. I've been cutting out a lot, so if I showed you this already, I apologize. But this is from the quartz and coming into here, and it's looking really good. And right here, we obviously have the copper, which is looking even better. The reason I have those so far back is because I want to put down a big platform right here. Um, also, you can put down platforms a lot quicker than I've been doing because I wasn't sure how to do it. I was kind of doing it like we did in Empyreon and Galactic Survival. Any of you guys ever play that game? Uh, yeah, I was trying to do it like that, but it doesn't work like that. I'll show you how it works. And I'd really like to replace, like, ground with this stuff, but I don't know if I can. So this is how you put down a big platform. Um, first of all, we're going to come through this way and start right there. We're going to come over here and you just, like, look at the ground. And it's a little... It's a little tricky, but if you get... There you go. Beautiful. And then you just come through here, come over here. There you go. Oh, I'm so glad I figured that out. <laughs> oh, I'm really glad I figured that out. Another thing I figured out. Uh, this setup in the beginning of the video was probably okay, because even though iron makes three items, the one item is actually from rods. So to the right, I'm making um, sheets, to the left, I'm making rods, and then I tried to make whatever the third thing was. I think it's gears, but gears are not made from ore. They're made from rods. 
So I'm going to keep this set up the way it is. I'm not going to go back to the old one because this gives me an opportunity to make something else. Maybe something else comes along down the line and I want to kind of do it differently. What I'm going to do is behind the rods, I'm going to put a storage chest. And then I'll probably put the storage chest over. Yeah, whatever. I could put it right there. I don't know. Maybe I'll put it right there. Maybe I'll put it up here. I don't know. But I'm going to put down a storage chest, start gathering the rods. And then the rods will be fed into something that will be making the gears. Um, so that's my next uh, my next order of business. Um, yeah, we've really got to we've really got to automate circuit boards. I might do circuit boards first. See, the thing is, I don't think I need a lot of gears. I really don't like a couple here, a couple there. I mean, I really don't need a lot of gears. Probably don't need to automate it at all. But that's not in the spirit of the game, so I will automate it. Um, you know what? I'm gonna go for the circuit boards first because I want to start doing some circuit boards. But before we do circuit boards, I'm gonna get this entire platform all the way down to about here. And then we're going to start working on the platform. The more of this working in the dirt crap. So we got a decent amount of the platform done. And I'm going to start working on the copper line. Uh, we're going to start off with the conveyor splitter. Uh, as far as I can tell, there's only two things that you need copper for. Um, but I'm going to go with the splitter just so in case I want to have a third line, I can. And I don't know. I guess that looks pretty good right there. We'll just kind of, you know, see how it goes. I keep running out of cement. So I was giving a little bit of time for cement to build up. While I um, kind of figured out what I wanted to do. Let me show you what I got going on with copper really quick. And uh, Alright, so copper for copper plates. And that's it in here. Okay. And then copper for... Um, the copper plates are for the circuit boards. And... Um, cable. Oh, that's right. I forgot. Cable is copper, ing uh, copy copper ingots. So copper ingots are used to make copper plates and cable. Alright. Uh, the copper plates will be for this. The cable will be for this and that, and that's all there is in there. Okay. So that's what we got going on. Let's go ahead and grab, go. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. It's freaking like, <laughs> I wish I knew or thought about the fact that the forge was used to make the cement. I would have set it up a long time ago. Just, you know, just did not compute. All right. So we're going to go this way. And foundations. I'll just kind of you know, go from here. We go there. And then, come on. Come on. There you go. I guess if we go too far away, it doesn't work that well. Um, that's probably good for that end. Let's go ahead and go farther on this end. Uh, actually, you know what? Let's do this. All right, cool. Now we'll go farther on the other end. And that should be, we should be good to go at that point for the copper, you know, the copper, I don't know what you call it, the copper line, you know, the copper production area. Okay. Cool. Now let's go ahead and get some food here. Cool. By the way, the game's wanted me to make a tree greenhouse for a long time. Um, <laughs> uh, what do I need for it? Eh, yeah, I'll do it later. <laughs> I'm having fun with this automation stuff, man. All right, so now we're going to need enough stuff for two of these. So we need iron beams and gears. Iron beams and gears. So I kind of know what they take, but I want to use up what I got in here first. Uh, well, there's the iron beams, and there's the gears. Wow. Uh, five, three. Yeah, that's that's the beam. Well, I need one more beam and four more gears. Okay, I don't see anything in there that I'm going to need. So one more. Okay, so we're going to need iron rods. Also, we have a lot of silica on us. Put the silica away for now. And then let's go get the iron rods. So this is why I have, like, this automation is really nice. As you go through the automation process, everything gets better and better. Like, I should just have, yeah, a lot of plates in there. And over here, I should have a lot of, yeah, there we go. Iron rods. I love it. I love it. Someone was saying, oh, if you like this game, you should play Satisfactory. Yeah, I've, I played Satisfactory. I did, like, a, a pretty lengthy let's play on that game when it came out nobody watched it so i'm um, just not good at fat satisfactory i can get stuff to run but i'm not like um efficient enough people get annoyed watching me because of my inefficiencies um so all right gears uh, we need four more of those that's not in there it's in here one two three four. oh yeah we need eight so we need two all right, cool. We got enough. Let's go set up two of these. So the copper line's almost all set up, and I'm starting to look ahead to the quartz. Now, the only thing I can see that you need quartz for is silica. 
Now, that doesn't mean that's all you need. Well, I mean, I guess for oxygen capsules, but I don't usually make those. Um, let me see what else I got here. Silica. I don't think anything else is made with quartz. So that's going to make things very easy. Just pump out silica. All right, let me show you what I got going on with the copper. And I kind of built it just like this one. Well, almost just like this one. Instead of having the storage, like, right next to it, I have the storage kind of facing in that direction. So you can see right here. Um, right here will be copper plates and cables. And I think pretty good. Um, let's just go ahead and start feeding this in, see how it goes. Okay. There we go. And they should feed into here. So now we have copper plates and cables taken care of. Um, I guess we should just do the quartz right now. The only thing is, how do I get it? Can I have conveyor belts go over other conveyor belts? That I'm not really sure about. It doesn't look like, well, it doesn't look like it. Oh, well, kind of. I have it go up here. Maybe I can have it come down. It's going to be ugly either way. Uh, I may be able to go underneath, but honestly, I really don't want to. There's probably an easier way of doing this, but I'm not going to worry about it. Let's just go ahead and build some more flooring, and then let's go get that silica made. Honestly, I might not need enough silica to even have it matter, you know? I could just run all the all the silica over here and just make stuff as I need it. But, again, that's not in the, the spirit of the game. So I'm going to automate uh, as much as I can just because, you know, it's fun. All right, um, so we're going to need more cement. Look at that. That's what I'm talking about. That is what I am talking about. Hell yeah. Freaking cement for days. Yeah, look at that. Oh, uh, so good. I love these. I love these kind of games. I just kind of wish I was better at them, you know? I'm just not that good at them. Like, so people don't... Like, I started... Oh, we're, we're having a... We're having power issues, aren't we? Hold, hold off on that. Um, I started playing these games at Satisfactory. Not Satisfactory, but... um. Oh, gosh. Why can't I remember that? Factorio. You know? And um, I love them. And I think I'm pretty decent at them. But I'm not like... Like, people are like, oh, you are you need to produce 5.4 of this and that. 2.6 of that. And that's how you... And, like, then they're just, they just stop watching. <laughs> they just don't want to watch me play. Because of my inefficiencies. But I love the games. I really do. And, by the way, the power is good. I'm kind of surprised the power is good. Don't these things take power? Uh, yeah, the five MWs. Was that milliwatts, megawatts, whatever? I don't know, man. It takes some kind of watts. And it doesn't seem to be really mattering that much. Okay, so that. And like that. That'll come over here. And... Okay. Like this. I don't think I need to split these either. I'm just going to... I'm just going to put it right into this. I don't, I don't really see any need to split them. I kind of want to line them up a little bit better. So maybe like right... Mm. I always got to make something and then I'm like, oh, I don't have the iron beams. Always with the freaking iron beams. <laughs> and the gears. There we go. Much better. Much better indeed. How's that? Um, yeah, That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Let's see if we can not make this look completely horrendous. Uh, see, I don't know what it's going to look like. Um, okay, it doesn't really matter. All right, let's see how it goes. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Don't like that. Uh-huh, I don't think so. All right, so we're going to have this come through here. Yeah. Wait, what? Oh, not enough plates? Oh, okay. That's fine. I think I'm going to be able to make it work, though. So my plates... Should be all the way down here. Uh, but that's okay. All right, cool. The automation is getting real. I love it. Freaking love it. All right, so we got the plates that we need now. Let's go ahead and set this up. Go over here. And uh, you know what? Doesn't look bad like that. Hey, that could work. That can work. All right, cool. And you, my friend, 
would be oh hold on i did that wrong it's supposed to be a, it's supposed to be a storage container that's right okay all right fair enough uh do i have what i need for it i could do a small one i could do a small one it's fine now can i line this up properly maybe no okay that's that's okay that's all right small no oh, that's not okay <laughs> took down the wrong thing all right so let's do this and let's put this like so and now we can do it right good all right good i need some oxygen so i got the storage laid down and not only am i going to need storage for this but i'm going to need uh copper plates which i believe are thankfully right here which is really good all right, so let's go ahead and build this out a little bit. Come on. Darn it. Yeah, we need a lot more. Okay, that's fine. I've got more. I just... There we go. All right, so we're going to need right here silica and copper plates. Also, this thing right here is not going to do it. We're going to need the assembling machine for this. All right, so that's what we're going to set up now. Uh, that's silica. The assembling machines... Mm. There's no way around it. Oh, why isn't this coming through? Hold on a sec. Oh, I know why it's not coming through. Because I, I just had a wave and I took down all of the um, power. Okay. <laughs> Thank goodness. All right, let me get my power set back up. And then I'm going to uh, finish over the floor over there. And then we're going to automate circuit boards. There's one other automation besides circuit boards I want to do. And I don't remember what it is. So just give me one second and go take a look. Uh, and six will be enough. For the time... Wait. Okay. For the time being. Um, yeah, so the circuit boards are automated, and I also... Oh, glass. Do I want to make glass panes automated? You know, I might not for now. I don't know how many glass panes I'm going to need. Uh, this one, I would assume... Yeah, 10 glass panes. I mean, I can make that pretty quickly. I can just go grab the stuff, and... Do I really need a whole chest of glass panes? That might be a bit much. But... If you're, in, if you're playing in the interest of the... You know, in the spirit of the game... You really should be trying to automate everything, I guess. So, it is what it is. We'll, we'll probably do the glass panes, but maybe not today. I want to get... I need the circuit boards. That's, that's the... Those those are the pain. The circuit boards are a pain in the, in the butt. So, by the way, I'm, I was just thinking about uh, uh, Factorio. And I was thinking how much easier it is to play these games from a top-down perspective. Like, I'm not a, like a... I'm not a fan of top-down games. I'll play a top-down game if it's really good. You know, I can get a, I can get a, around it. Like, it's not like a deal-breaker for me. But I'd prefer, you know, this kind of view, first person. But for these factory games, mm, top-down. I don't know, man. Might actually be better. It's just easier to see everything, you know? All right, so... Where is this thing? There it is. So this thing's huge. I could go right there. Actually, I wanted to go back even farther. I got myself a little outpost here, so I don't have to run all the way over there for oxygen. Let me show you what I got going on so far. So there we go. Um, I put splitters on both of these because the copper plates I'm going to want to splitter to bring into different spots. Although, I guess only one end of the splitter is going to be useful because there's not going to be much room over here um, to do anything with this side of the splitter. But, you know, I could always move things around later if I need to or not worry about it. Um, this splitter is for the silica. And the silica will be able to go out three different ways. One will go into this machine right here. And this bad mamma jamma is what I need to make the circuit boards. And I think we're good to go. Let's go ahead and hook everything up. And then I'm going to have to, you know, I'm kind of worried a little bit about the um, copper plates only having one other way to split out. But, you know, this is, this is my analysis paralysis. I try and make everything perfect and nothing ever gets done. You know, I just got to say, okay, this is good enough for now. There we go. All right. And then we hook this up right here. And there we go. And everything should be coming through. Okay. Are we ever going to need more than three stacks of circuit boards? Probably not, but I really should put a box behind it anyway. <laughs> just because. Um, so let's go ahead and build out the foundation a little bit more. Oh, man. Uh, how much do I have left? Oh, barely anything. Barely an inconvenience. All right. Well, you know, that's fine. 
That is perfectly fine. And there we go. We are going to have a ridiculous amount of circuit boards. <laughs> Look, way more circuit boards than I'm ever going to need. But that's okay. I am perfectly fine with that. How much did I stack up to 30? Yeah, probably to 30. Okay, let's take a look at this from the drone. I love the drone, by the way. Uh, no, go up. There you go. And that's our setup right now. It's, it's you know, like I said, if you could... Hey, how about this? How about this for a factory game? Can we get a factory game where we can build from the top? Like, imagine being able to play Factorio and then go down into the game and all of a sudden it's satisfactory. Because I would really love to build from up here. Like, it would be so much easier to build from up here. Um, that would make me very, very happy. As a matter of fact, I'm looking at this. And this right here is the copper. It comes into here. Right there is making copper plates going out to this uh, storage right here for the copper plates. And the copper plates are going into the that one assembler. And I have one more set of copper plates that can come out. Now, if I need more copper plates to come out, how would I handle it? I don't know. Um, I could probably take that out and put like, see, it's a lot easier. Wh whatever I could do, it's so much easier to build from up top. It also looks cooler. Although I don't want it from just up top. I want both. I want it all. <laughs> anyway, guys, I am going to call this one here. If you end up enjoying the video, please remember to uncage that like button. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. And until then, take it easy.